Okay, chili, cumin, lime, roasted almonds. What you need? About so a tablespoon of sea salt, two to three heat teaspoons of chili powder, two to three heat chili uh, teaspoons of cumin. Uh, one, two, one and a half, 200 gram packets of whole almonds. These are from Lidl. The one I used to be one pound thirty nine, but now one pound forty five for 200 grams. It works out about just, just under eight pound a kilo. That was a half packet from one I had, uh, made the other day. And one and a half, or one or two limes, depending on how uh, limey you want it. Baking tray with some oil in it, vegetable oil. I use um, rapeseed oil to stop it sticking. Uh, a dish here for mixing up the chili and the salt, um, and a rubber glove, which I'll show you later on. What we do with that? Okay, I've put the salt in with some boiling water from the kettle. I've got the uh, Pyrex dish on a on the minimum flame uh, to dissolve the, the salt, and then I'm going to add the um, cumin and chili and the lime juice. Okay, in goes the chili and the cumin. Let us stir. I'm just warming the oven up as well, just to. I get this oil going and get it sizzling so the almonds have a head start uh, because all this the water needs to evaporate um, once we're going. I'll let that go for a bit and that needs to come to a bit of a bubble. Maintain the heat and that's why we need the rubber glove. Okay so I've, I've rolled the limes just to give it a bit of, of, a, of a start on in the go. What I normally do is get my fingers inside there and give it a good, good massage. Give it a right good massage. Yep, I'll do the same. Maybe you can squeeze as much as you can out of that. And do the same with the other three halves. Okay, so the cumin and the chili and the lime and the salty water is just starting to simmer a bit. I've got in the oven the tray with the oil uh, heating up nicely, so now a donzy glove and then we go on 200 grams one I'm hoping was more or less half of the last lot I did if I'm getting that in but I can hold this camera excuse the shape there you go heat off and get your hands in a good soak in. I'll actually add a little more water than I wanted to, but I have added two limes as well, so I'll add the lime juice. I don't let it soak in. That's a mistake I made, and it took it a lot longer to roast. So this is where the glove comes off, and I'm going to have to stop this for a second. Right, so the tray's out, and on we go. The reason why you use one and a half packets, 300 grams, is because with a bit of luck that should spread out evenly. And of course, it has buckled in the oven, so it's a bit uneven, but it'll settle down. You see how easy, 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 easy. I think I might have used a little too much last time and this time 
a bit too much liquid but so once that's all evenly spread out it goes in the oven for seven minutes before you do the first turn so 190 degrees for the first seven minutes that's seven minutes uh, I did say it was a bit too wet to start with so it's always different every time let's leave it in a couple more minutes before I do the first shovel film without dropping them or finding a burny spot on the hand right so they've actually been in 10 minutes now shut of the door spatula and this is where you start mixing now what normally happens is the crispy bits start from the outside so I'm just going to give it a mix Good mix up. Try to do it quickly so it doesn't cut, doesn't cool down too much. Lost one there. Making films is so stressful when you know it doesn't go right ever. And if you can hear a wheeze, it's because the cat's been round. Right. Voila. I found that stray. There you go, mate. Back in for another, well, I'm going to guess about five and a half now or seven. Keep an eye on it through the window. Okay, so four minutes. Final turn. Can you see most of the Liquids evaporate and it loses this lovely claggy like chewiness from the spices and the lime and the salt. Just trying to get all these burnt edges bits in. Obviously I'm using one arm here. Dexterity. as it would be and obviously under pressure with the uh, producer and the camera crew around them all baying at me to get on with it because they've all opened a beer and they all want some almond spots right so that's it's not sorted right I'm off getting those little bits off the spatula as well but Feels now. Chef, that is. Okay, right. And it goes. And the secret now is to wait for it to brown. The secret now. The secret now is to wait for it to brown. And obviously, have a slurp. What happens is you get the smell of the spices coming through the the other door vent, and that's when you can tell when the spices are burning or cooking. So I've got four minutes is what they look like. I can't quite smell what I want to smell at the moment. Uh, two or three minutes and I'll switch the other half. So, final. <sighs> you need to 
<laughs> anyway, you get the point. You do is you loosen them all up, you get them shaped, you get them all. I'm going to do this in a set, but I'm going to put them back in the oven. You need two hands for this. Get them all loose and get some of the cumin and chilli off the bottom of the tray. And some of it's a bit damp, some of it's a bit burnt. And you stick it back in the oven just for a couple more minutes and switch the oven off and leave it in there. So, there you go. All loose. Back in the oven. For a minute and then switch the oven off. <coughs> right. <coughs> This is how you breathe when they come out of the oven. Okay, so I'll switch the oven off. I know the spices are cut because I'm inhaling pain. So what I'd normally do is make sure that they're still hot. A bit there. And I stick it back in the oven with the door open a fraction and let the temperature drop around about 150 then shut it again then I know the spices won't burn. Down to 100 degrees in the oven now. That is just a nice evaporation. They're going to be really crunchy. Some because of my useless filmingness and <laughs> but to have a drink before I start fucking filming. Ah! That should that should be fine. I'll be out in about half an hour. Right, folks. Here we are. After what seems a lifetime. Chili, cumin, lime, almonds. <laughs> 